How's it going, everyone? All right, we're going to start here in just about 30 seconds. I'm going to go grab a refill of my coffee. We're going to be drawing hair today. Um, give me one minute. I'll be right back. Get this thing going. Okay. How's it going, everybody? So we're gonna this is basically gonna be me showing you guys how I do hair, how I paint hair in Photoshop. So we'll start off with short hair. So I pulled these images from Pinterest. I'm just going to go with my sketchy brush for now. I'm not going to be worried too much about the face. Um, so the, the easiest thing to do when drawing hair is break it up into shapes, break it up into big shapes. So bigger shapes first. So let's just do a basic head shape here. She's happy because we're going to draw her hair. Okay, so first things first. Let's break this down. So when you're looking at the hair in a portrait, you're going to break it into big shapes. So we got this shape. We got this shape. This shape here and there. So that's what I'm looking at when I am trying to find the hair. We got this shape. So that's that's pretty much the shapes of the hair. I'm just going to lower the opacity. I'm going to do a layer on top. And then we'll go in and kind of refine I'm just using a simple chalky brush here. So we're trying to find the main portions of the hair. Okay. 
So you always want to work big to small. So I'm going in and going with the flow. Okay, so let's focus on this portion of the hair here. So I'm just using a flat kind of chalky brush. Um, but we're just going to go straight into like color. So we want to do a darker undertone. And a lot of times, too, it'll all depend on the environment that they're in. Uh, make sure you're working with a gray background, because uh, it's a lot harder to get highlights and stuff if you're working with a, a white background, because that's the lightest you can go. So we're going to start from the light source. From So looking at this portion of her hair. The shadows up here in the part and then underneath where it runs by her face. So I'm just going to go in and start using long strokes. If you're working on Procreate or Photoshop, uh, zoom in on this. So you're kind of doing this where it's dark, light, dark. And you're you're working dark to light. Dark to light. And you're you're saving that. It's gonna be your your highlight. So I'm going to go in and choose a lighter brown color. I'm just going to lighten up the center area here. If you guys have any questions, go and throw them in the chat while I'm doing this. And then I'm going to choose a lighter brown color. highlighted area and now I'm going to go back and get a dark color and try to find make those chunks now I'm going to go back in with a lighter color and highlight those chunks. All right. Now I'm going to go in with a hard round brush, but I'm going to drop the hardness to about uh, 60. 65% see how that feels and this will kind of soften up I 
And I'll soften up the hair a little bit. So the, the more we go over this, the tighter we're going to get. So you don't actually do strands of hair until the very end. And even then you're not even doing strands of hair. It's still going to be chunks. So you could do strands at the very end to add detail. A lot of times people, or I've learned, these little wispy hairs don't even need to connect to the to the actual painting. It's more of a highlight or just little details. They don't have to be very dark either. They can be pretty light. Um, so if you're working in Photoshop, I'm going to show you guys really quick how to make a hair brush. Um, I will have, I'm going to actually building a hair brush, uh, brush pack for you guys. But if you have Photoshop, this is pretty easy. So all I do is I'll just grab a, a blank sheet. Go to black. Kind of a a black color. So this is gonna give you do this. So you're gonna make a bunch of spots. Kind of like this. And you can have a couple that are Want a variety of shapes. And opacities. Okay, once you got that, you're going to use your selection tool. Select it. I'm going to go to edit. Go down to define brush preset. I'm going to name it hair. You know, we're going to go into brush presets, brush settings. We're going to reduce the spacing to like 1%. I'm going to go into shape dynamics. Transfer to pen pressure. Under, under shape dynamics, uh, it'll be pen pressure and then minimum diameter, let's do 50%. And then transfer. Minimum. Yeah, I'm going to keep it at zero. All right, and then go back up into the settings here and create new brush preset. 
rename it Air One. Go back into our drawing and with our new brush, we're going to select a darker, lightly paint in the edges, and then go back into our highlight. I'm going to go a little more on the saturated. Like that and then we're gonna I'm gonna do a, a layer on top of that and make it in the overlay layer and select maybe a blonder color and this is really gonna help you're gonna go over it and this will really help the highlights pop out I'll we'll go darker blend out the highlights almost white with the overlay brush and make those highlights pop so that's that's the gist of you know how to how to paint hair um, start big, work small, big to small, dark to light. Um, and you can make any of these, these brushes pretty easily. So if you, if, you, uh, if you ever have issues making or finding a brush, um, I would always suggest try to create one. Photoshop is pretty easy as far as creating a brush. Um, Procreate is a little harder. So I, I usually just create all my brushes in photo, Photoshop, and then you can also use them in Procreate. So if you guys are interested in getting a, uh, having me do a hairbrush kit, hairbrush set, um, let me know in the comments. Up in the darker. And we're going to do different types of hair today. So after this one, I'm just going to go in. We're going to do a uh, curly hair next. Or how I do curly hair. So this isn't like a, you know, this is a show all of how everyone's supposed to do it. This is just how I do it. So.
Uh, Jesse, hello. New your channel. You sound like a kind soul, and I hope I stick around. I hope you do too. So I do a lot of um. If you're if you're new new, I do a lot of portrait videos. Um, every morning, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, I try to do a little instructional video like this. Um. I do a lot of reaction videos where I post um, portraits of people where I draw them in Omegle and get the reactions. Uh, I'm going to try to do a different Omegle stream every Friday, Friday night. But today we're, uh, we're drawing hair. And if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to learn as like a small segment like this, so I'm doing these for an hour daily, um, let me know in the comments and I'll try to go over that subject, at least what I know of that subject. Yeah, make sure you uh, go check out my website also. The link is down below in the description. Um, I have a newsletter there, so it'll tell people. My schedule is there too, so if you guys want to know when I go live, where and where I go live, um, it'll be there. There's a, a watch live section. It's got the schedule. So I'm kind of like all over the place when it comes to streaming platforms. So I'm here on YouTube in the mornings. Uh, I will be on Twitch in a couple hours. Uh, we'll be working on a piece that I've been working on for the last, since last week, it's uh, a shark. It's called a sharktopus fly. And it's a uh, piece that was thought up by a AI, artificial intelligence. But all, all the links for that are in the in the description. All right. So that's pretty much short hair. So now we'll go into Early hair.
All right, so we got on the basic shape for the head real quick. All right, so same same premise when it comes to the other hair. You want to draw the shape. So I use I use my chalky brush to kind of get these curls. So this this brush is directional in which I can get a fat line. It's almost like a calligraphy pen in the way that I can get a big line and a thin line all at the same time. So my strokes can go, you know, something like that where it's it's already a curl. Um, so this brush kit, or this brush is available on my Gumroad. There should be a link down below if you guys want to check that out. But just going in and adding curls. And you want to get squiggly with them. You don't want to be too... Um, you want them to be random. You don't want them to be too uniform, otherwise it doesn't look natural. So I'm just going in and roughing out the overall sheep. Oh, hey, that's the Sharktopus fly. <laughs> that's what I'm going to be finishing today on my other channel. Little preview. Okay. So now that we got this, I'm going to go one layer underneath and put a... This is all going to depend on what color hair we're working with, but I'm just going to put a large a layer of dark reddish brown underneath. Because it looks like she just has, you know, her roots are probably her natural color. So we got that. We're going to go one layer on top of our original line layer. Grab a lighter blonde color. Yeah, that seems good. And we're gonna do the same thing. But this time we're gonna be more more strategic with our placement. And I'll show you how, if the color doesn't match like right away, I'll show you how to fix that in just a second. So kind of go through and make your curls again.
Now, this is going to be very quick and loose. I'm not trying to be very detailed. You can go in it and get as detailed as you, as you want with this stuff. Um, this is just the starting process. Okay, so now I want, I want to actually lock the alpha layer. Um, so I'm going to bring my, show you guys my layers panel here. I'll bring over my color. I should, I should have done this before, but all right, here we go. So I will hit this little checkerboard button here on the layer we just did. And I'm going to select a darker color. I can basically go over the curls we just did. And hit. It's almost like where the highlight is in the hair, going over with a lighter color. All right, so I'm gonna add another layer on top. I'm gonna change that to an overlay. I grab a soft round brush. Darken everything up. I'm going to put another layer on top. So this is all in layers. This is what you got to think. Um, and then once you're, once you're at a good spot, you can actually combine everything down, collapse everything down on another layer. So now this, this is where it gets, you know, detailed when you're doing curls like this. This is basically your your under layer for everything. So now you want to just go in and find curls and you want to think of them as ribbons. I'm only going to do this in a small section because this would take forever. I'm going to be patient when doing this kind of stuff and I'm not exactly the most patient person when it comes to Stuff like this. It's basically doing the exact same thing we did with the short hair, except on a miniature version. So I'm going in, I'm color picking, so I don't want to steer too far away from the color that we got going on. And I'm trying to find the highlight, or trying to remember where the, the light source is coming from. So it looks like it's coming from this direction. down but once you got enough of these curls in here 
with highlights, when you zoom out, it's gonna it's gonna appear like it's more realistic. Um, your brain will kind of fill in what's supposed to be there. But you don't have to be like draw every hair. Don't use white as a highlight. Um, try to avoid using white in any painting. Just because you can't get lighter than white. I do another layer on top of that. I want to do an overlay. Grab my hairbrush again. Another layer. Grab a detail brush. And start adding like little wisps. Kind of make them directional. You want to be strategic. You're basically designing hair. So without spending hours and hours and hours on that, on this, that's that's basically the gist of doing curls. So work large to small, um, and then we're gonna do one more day, and that's going to be beards. Grab my sketch, sketch brush. Then a head really quick.
So I'm roughing in the big shapes. Go in with a darker gray color, a little darker than that. I'll work on this mustache here. So we're, we're blending, so the highlight is coming from the top, top left. Basically making one big cheek. I'm just adding texture in here. Small little lines. Going towards highlights. Grab my hairbrush again. So actually for, for mustaches like this, you want to start on the bottom and you kind of layer layer up so you're, you're working from the bottom up so you're putting hairs on top of hairs so i'm doing a layer of light layer of dark and kind of pushing higher and higher in the mustache here Detail chalk brush. I'm just adding in some thicker chunks. If you were, if you if you have a mustache um, like this guy, you you put like like a beard wax in or like a mustache wax, and it helps the the hairs stick together towards the ends. So if you're a guy, you might know you can't grow facial hair. You might not. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is what you do. 
um, to make your, your mustache look good. I used to have like a big mustache like this once upon a time. It was just too much of a daily routine to keep up, so I kind of just shaved mine now. Go with an overlay layer on top. Actually, let's do a multiply. Shadow of the nose. And you could do all these techniques different ways. Um, you could do all of it in black and white and then go back and add a color layer on top. And there's plenty of hair tutorials out there. I just thought I'd show you guys how I do this, or how would I, how I would approach it. So let's go back to my brush page here. So I want to kind of make a airbrush. Something like this, I think. Let's select it. Let's make it a brush reset. Go into your brush settings. Spacing, we're gonna space this out. So it's a little chunkier. We're gonna go to shape dynamics. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of a jitter on the size because we don't want to all be the same. Angle jitter. Put it at a, like a 5%. Let's say, yeah, 5%. Roundness, I don't know, 15. Uh, scattering. Change the count to two. Do a two percent scatter. And then transfer.
So I'm going to do pen tilt. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. All right, let me save this. Actually, go off. Save this as a preset. Um, beard. Let's see how fast I can do this really quick. I have the under. shape here. I got the overall shape of the beard. So I'm going to grab the brush we just made. And I am going to change the angle jitter to direction. I'm going to go over top with a round brush overlay layer. Darken this up. I 
And I'm just going to grab my sketch brush and just kind of sh start shaping. a little better. So basically all the work we just did was kind of like an under painting. So now I'm just using my thicker sketch brush to kind of go over and make shapes. Add little highlights. Wispy hairs. And I'm constantly changing the uh, thickness of my brush also. So there's tons of ways you can go about this. This is more of a realistic approach. You can even go super stylized and just completely go shape oriented. Or I'll just paint over this. So say you got this shape. really quick. We're going to go more animated, anime kind of, kind of feel.
So when it comes to hair, uh, before we sign off here, it's all about shapes. Shapes with volume and texture. So let's say there's like a, I don't know, blue light coming from the bottom. Copy the whole thing. Let's Yeah. So, well, yeah, when it comes to hair, it's all about volume and shape. Go big to small, um, chunky to thin details. So overall shape, um, so if we go big shapes, medium shapes, small shapes, and then fine details at the very end. I, I always avoid trying to do individual hairs only for highlights and little stuff like this that you would do individual stuff. Or if you're like really close, uh, for the most part, um, like painters back in the day, they would it would it would all be blended. So even like this hair right here on, the, on this guy's on the back of his head connecting into his collar would all be blended together. So it just depends. All right, guys. Um, again, if you want me to show you guys something specific that I do or you want to learn on how I do it, um, let me know in the comments down below. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. Um, but leave a comment and we'll see if we can do that. Uh, always try to be active in the chat if you guys want to learn something on the fly. Uh, if you have questions about my process or what I'm doing, uh, let me know. And then make sure to follow me on my other socials. Twitch, uh, TikTok, Instagram. Check out my website. There's a newsletter. And if you want brushes, they're available down below in the description. All right, guys. Y'all have a good day. We'll see you on Twitch a little bit later for joining me. And uh, 